Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gator Does Games, part of the Kingdoms of Discordia. Uh, this is part of our little mini series here, a, uh, a little nostalgic playthrough romp for me on uh, the FTB Direwolf 21.12 mod pack for Minecraft. Uh, we're picking back up where we left off from uh, the other day. Let's see here. And... Oop. Now, uh, I've done a bit of work since uh, we were last here, uh, hanging out and stuff. I uh, went ahead and gathered a bunch of stuff and uh, tried to set up a, a nice sort of little house here. Uh, should be pretty cozy compared to... Uh, well, it's it's still kind of a glorified hole in the floor, but, you know, uh, it, it it's my hole in the floor. And, uh, at least, we're not so lonely anymore. We've got, uh, we've got my buddy, uh, uh, Jeff here. Jeff, Jeff, why don't you say hi? <laughs> Jeff doesn't say much. He's, uh, yeah, he's, 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 he's kind of ahead. Uh, but in any case... Went ahead and, uh, like I said, uh, did some minor basic stuff. Uh, we have, uh, aside from Jeff, we've got a basic ore doubling system that I've set up from the last time we I played. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, I can give you guys a walkthrough in a second here on how it works and whatnot. Uh, as you can see here, I do have a few gadgets and things on my toolbar now. Let's go ahead and pull up our inventory, so you can see. I ain't got too much else right here, but this thing, this is a uh, uh, very, very special little toy that I've been enjoying. It is the Building Gadget from Building Gadgets by Direwolf20. Uh, pretty easy to make, cost me a couple of the, uh, the few diamonds that I had, but just put it together on a crafting table. And you get a really, really useful little building wand type thing. Allows you to uh, build out stuff that you would need, and uh, yeah. It's kind of what helped me with uh, putting all this stuff together. Uh, also, as you can see here, I've got a bunch of little designer bits and bobs. Uh, that's more or less uh, courtesy of the Chisels mod. Hmm. Sorry, I was getting a uh, drink right there. Uh, let's see, what is next on the list for us? I suppose uh, we're going to probably want to get a proper farm going. Now, it is nighttime outside, so I'm going to go ahead and get some sleep here. Banish that, that darned old knight. And uh, let's go outside. Alrighty. Close that. Now, I do have a bit of a small farm, but I do need to, to get uh, a, a better one going. Uh, it did a little bit of terraforming. It's no longer a big pit out here. And uh, not only that, but we do have a uh, pretty decent m uh, mine going. Nothing to write home about, but uh, it'll, it'll do for what we need. Hmm. Admittedly... Having a little bit of frame rate issue here. I'm not quite sure what the thing is. Uh, I think I was going through this last time we were playing. Hmm. Well, in any case, let's go ahead and get the. Oh, oh, uh oh. Up. Oh. Go on. Shoo. Shoo, you damn little thing. Yeah, I don't like those too much. They are not our friends. But, uh,. Oops, forgot I had a uh, torch in my inventory. Let's uh, go ahead and take that back. Hmm. I am really disliking this frame rate lag. Let's see. Go ahead and harvest our crops here. Not a lot of stuff to, to begin with, but there wasn't, uh, admittedly, there wasn't enough of. Uh, uh, gardens around that I could sort of uh, uh, make use of. 
Not only that, but I'm sort of working with the issues of, uh... How do you call it, uh... Limited, uh... Limited water supply, which I do have a bucket now, which... Uh, let's go back inside over here to go ahead and have a look at our ore processing. Many of the, the more sharper-eyed among you would pr will probably understand what this is. Uh, I went ahead and built myself a quartz grindstone from Applied Energistics. Uh, pretty easy. Three smooth stone, uh, wooden gear, and uh, three cobblestone. Makes this, uh, this bad boy right here, and it can fit so many ores. But basically, uh, stuff goes in chest here, stuff goes in here, and gets pulled back out here. Got a little bit of iron ore left over for grinding up, just to show you guys how it goes. And as you can see, it's flowing into here, courtesy of these extra utility transfer nodes. Really cheap, really easy to use, get a lot of pipes and stuff. Early game, an absolute necessity. So let's go ahead and throw back a bit of this just to show you what it can do. And so at about eight cranks, this will go ahead and process one of these ores and turn it into uh, iron grit powder, which is doubling the ores that you get. And as you can see here, we have six pulverized iron instead of the four that we had before. So now we've got a little bit more to, uh, to, to help protect us. So let's go ahead and throw these things in the inventory here. Um, we've got some hops from Binnie's. I hope to be making some beer soon here. I think that would be pretty nice, pretty fun. Um, aside from that, also we need to get that need to get that farm going. So let's uh, let's make a trip down to the beach. Do do do. I'm gonna have to fill this area in eventually, but it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, hey! Hello, Mr. Sheep. Hmm. Might be a good idea to go ahead and get a farm started. Ooh, there's more than one sheep, too. Hmm. Well, let's... Mm, yeah, we can we can do a... Uh, we can do an old-fashioned farm here. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, just make a little pit. This will be pretty easy to, to deal with. Uh, and I'm gonna grab some wheat. Be right there. Ooh, ooh. Almost caught on that. Let's grab that piece of wheat there, and that's all we need to get that farm started. Alright. Or at least our livestock portion. Ooh, doo, doo. I do hope you all have been well since our last video. Oh, he hello, sheep. Come on, buddy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I got you some nice, tasty wheat. Come on. Come on. There we go. Good sheep. Good. No, 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 no. You stay there, buddy. All right, let's go get your friend. Let's go get your girlfriend over here, Mrs. Sheep. Hello, Mrs. Sheep. Got some wheat for you here. Now, um, while I do understand that the Direwolf 20 pack is the current um, major mod pack going around these days, uh, I am working on a custom one that uh, I've had for a while, and uh, curiously enough, the music playing has a, a little bit of an influence on it. Okay. Come on, sheepers. Come on. Come on, sheep. Sheep, sheep, sheep. There we go. And just nudge you in there. There we go. Two happy little sheep. Well, maybe not too happy. They're not going to have too much food, but... Oh, hello. We got some more wheat. There. That's exactly what I'm looking for. All right. Let's, uh... Go ahead and check right here. Uh... How much space do we have available? So that's one, two, three, and four. So essentially, this rhubarb's gonna have to go. 
Or actually, let's let's do it from this side because this will give us a little bit more room to work. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I heard that hiss. I heard that hiss. Oh, never mind. He's fine. He's just burning. You leave me alone, creeper. All right, so this is about four units wide, so good. So one, two, three, and four. That means if I place down a water bucket here, it will fertilize all of these crops. I have a nice radius of four all the way around. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, oop, two, three, four. Now, unfortunately, I have not come across any worms yet, which worms really help this sort of stuff out. Actually, Editions seems to have dropped the, uh... Oh, oh, there we go, there we go, we got one of them. Now, these things are super useful. And I will show you guys exactly why. Normally, I kind of, um... Kind of squint at Actually, Editions, but, uh... There are some things that it does really, really well. Specifically, things like this for gardening. Notice how that, how quickly that suddenly became fertilized farmland. It is because worms actually, regardless of water being there, will fertilize all crops uh, in a three by three circle around them. And uh, not only that, but they will speed up the growth ticks of crops. So, placing that there... Oh yeah, you can also place this on top of those. Let's see, let's, let's go ahead and grab up all of these seeds that I already have here. Because uh, these are not going to go anywhere. Seeds and farmland. Seeds. Seeds. Rhubarb and seeds. Okay, so we got all these. We're going to place these around this little worm guy right here and he's gonna do his little wormy magic and make sure our crops grow nice and healthy and strong all right so that's uh, that's step one mmm fresh apples so we've got a bit of a sustaining uh, sustaining food source now and that's important that is definitely important in this game Especially as much as uh, I scream and die, <laughs> as you guys saw last time. Uh, hmm. Now, do I have access to a scoop? Because I will be doing bees in this playthrough. A lot of people don't like bees. I am one of those odd fellas that actually really, really enjoy uh, the bee system in forestry. Let's see here. So we're gonna have we're gonna have us, ourselves a nice large farm, a nice pretty farmhouse, and uh, probably a good uh, little uh, like well, what what would you call it? Uh, apiary, apiary. Oh, apiaries. Mm. How does one pluralize apiary? Mm. Ooh, that sun's getting low in the sky. Let's go ahead and head back into our workshop down here. And I need to come up with a better solution for all of our smelting needs than what we have going there. Also, um, I know you guys uh, probably noticed this glow shroom. Typically, you are... it's a little harder to get these terrariums. Um, you have to get overgrown uh, stone, which is a pretty rare thing with Biomes of Plenty. I kinda cheated. <laughs> just a little bit. Just I wanted to, to spruce the place up. Everything else here is done by hand, but just this little thing here, that is uh that that's 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 uh my my one indulgence for uh for right now. But let's go ahead and see here. Oh, uh I almost forgot. I've got a queen bee from Pam's Harvest Craft. Now, um, I'm not sure if, uh, you know, because we're already talking about bees, if uh, you all are... Ooh, monsters nearby. Who is nearby? Hmm. Hmm. I do not wish to fight monsters, but I will if I have to. 
go ahead and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna smelt up this stuff right here real quick. Um, rock and block or metal money. Uh, I mean gems. Nah, I ain't got an air misc. Hmm. Where did I put? Oh, I did put my coal in here. Okay. So we're gonna take a bit of coal here, and we're just gonna smelt this all up. Nice and melty. Oh, whoops. Yeah, sometimes that uh, that mouse wheel doesn't quite doesn't quite want to work all that well, but it's all good. So long as we get that uh, that eight times smelting speed, which is uh, kind of a, a reason why I do this uh, this this eight furnace trick here. So you can get an entire stack smelted by this uh, eight times as as fast as you would normally. So see, I already got some iron there, got some iron there, got some iron there. See. In the few seconds I've been talking, I already got 18, ing uh, 18 ingots right there. Ain't that swell. Alrighty. Now, normally I don't like using the clunky standard iron armor, but, you know, we're early on in the game. It's, it's useful. Let's get us, uh, let's get us some, uh, boots and we're gonna get ourselves a little hat. I know we have plenty of other metal to do all the rest of it, but right now that should be plenty. For us to, to, to come out here and lop somebody's head off that's uh, snooping around the house. Uh, we do have a, a lava barrier going down that way, so it doesn't seem to be that that monster was there for me. So maybe this butthead was on top of our roof. It's a very distinct possibility. Oh, oh, ah, uh, that's... What? Oh, that's who it is. Hello. Ow. And don't want none of you, buddy. Nope, nope, nope. Not again. Yeah, got him. Doing a lot better this time around. See, definitely helps having even just a little bit of armor. Including pants. Pants is pants are important. Uh, ooh, wait, wait. Zombles, zombles. Don't want none of your troubles. Go away. Hmm. Now I could have sworn I heard another, another bad dude out here. And hmm. Ah uh, well. Let's go ahead and head back in here. And oh gosh darn it. I'm gonna be cross if it's just one jerk. One stinking jerk right here. Yep, one stinking jerk. Come on. I mean, I see you there. Come on, just walk in the lava. Just do it. Just do it. Butthole. Oh, well, I can just hit you from here. There we go, see? Oh, uh, oh! Jim almost had a second friend. Oh, well. Hedeki Krisa. So, closing that. Hmm. There we go. Oh, nice, nice, good, crisp morning now. Ah, smell that fresh air. Now back into the shop. <laughs> yeah, uh, just wanted to force that morning there. Uh, I I do want to get to work on a queen bee. Uh, what's it? A apiary for uh, for Pam's harvest craft because this will get us a renewable source of torches of all things. All right, cheapers. Let's, let's let's get you guys to make some baby sheepers. There we go. Got us a little baby sheep. 
Right. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you stay right there, Mr. Creeper. Oh, never mind. Ooh, one more, one more. And bam, he's out of there. All right, so we're going to need... Uh, I need to take some of that wood I've been harvesting, gathering up, uh, sort of getting all this nice and neat for us. Yeah. Hmm. Or I could come down here and at least fill in this terrible, terrible hole. I don't like you. No. No, I do not. There we go. Oh, hello. Hello, spider. Oh, wow, there's more than one of you. Uh, this is quickly turning into Mob Smasher. Okay. We're not gonna even play... We're not even gonna entertain that idea there. We're just gonna... We're gonna head back up... Up here. We're gonna let the spiders... We're gonna let them be. Kind of like the spiders in your house. Just kind of turn, turn, turn the other way. And don't, don't, don't let them mess with you and you don't mess with them. But, uh, I do need to harvest some meat... Specifically, I need some leather. To be able to make this apiary, it's going to take that at the least. Oh, look, cute little Minecraft bunny. Okay, now there's some other sheep out here, which we're not taking care of these sheep. These are just, uh, these are meat sheep. And just found our other staple crop. We're going to, oh, darn lag. All right, uh... Our other staple crop we're going to be using for our renewable torches. Well, not so much torches, but candles, actually. You know. Fancy House doesn't really have torches hanging all over it. Fancy House has candle lighting and is, uh, fancy. <laughs> In a word. There we are. Got a little bit of that. And I'm going to need that a little bit later for some extra... Uh, stuff I'll be making, yellow dye, and I think, if memory serves, hmm, ah yes, you can still do it, ah excellent, so I can pick up these little Pam's Harvest Craft gardens and bring them back home, which is incredibly useful. Also, we're getting some of this industrial hemp. That will help us get into, uh, what was it, uh, immersive engineering, if memory serves. Ooh, I love all the purple flowers and stuff out here. It's, uh, kind of an underutilized, uh, you know, sort of color scheme in the game. Oh, wow. Actually, the palette out here is quite nice, just in general. You don't, you don't normally catch that in, uh... Just random spawns for games and stuff. Just like just happens to be this this area was really good for it. Oh oh, oh come here, sheep. There we go. Alright, bunny, you get a reprieve today. Alright, and just gathering these up. Thank you very much, Pam. I do adore your mods. Pam's Harvest Craft has definitely been a staple in every mod pack that I have played for well, probably last several years, come to think of it. Alright, and I can hear a zombie down below, but he's he'll be fine. He'll he can stay down there. We don't we don't care too much about that zombie. He can do his zombie thing. Underground. Away from us. Well, I mean we're going underground, but like underground uh, elsewhere. Yes. Alright, we're gonna throw this into the plant shit box. And throw a bunch of all that stuff in. We're gonna also get our flax seeds going. Alrighty. Got all these stairs and stuff to sort of reduce my stamina, you know, my stamina usage and uh, not e not even paying attention to it. Uh, oh, huh. Well, you 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 chose uh, you chose a poor option there, Mister Zombie. Yeah, oh look, more apples. Excellent. Nom 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 nom. I know I have bread, but uh, you know if I if why why use the bread when I can just keep using the apples that are falling off the tree? 
Also, uh, I'll probably be making a proper kitchen sometime soon. That'll be more useful for me. Uh, right then. That'll probably go in there. And I know I have rotten flesh in the food bin, and I know a lot of you are giving me a funny look over it, but trust me when I say that it's, uh, it's actually pretty useful. So, uh, what we're going to do, however, is... Uh, I'm going to squeeze these out right here. We want three stacks of eight, and the rest of that mutton can stay inside of our double chest. It'll be our meat budget, as it were. But uh, this is a neat little trick. If you're ever having trouble getting enough... Uh, how do you say? Uh, enough leather. You know, you're not getting any cows spawning in your biome that you've decided to settle in on. Uh, Tinkers has you covered. So, whereas normally you wouldn't have the... Uh, well, I mean, technically you could make sheep leather in real life. Uh, there's nothing nothing to stop it. If anything, um, there's, there's plenty of sheep leather goods. Uh, it gives use to the skin, uh, after all, um, that, that you sit there and normally would just discard from the, uh, from the animal that, uh, that you've, uh, butchered for meat. But, uh, in this case, see, we're gonna take some cooked mutton here, and, uh, placing mutton on this, you'll see a little timer starts. Mm. And we are back, and as you can see here, 99% is left on it, and Bam, presto, it turns our meat into leather. How neat is that? Alrighty, so we've got a little bit of leather to work with here. It's going to take a little bit longer to get the rest of it. And so, um, hmm. You know, we should probably construct kind of a uh, drying room. I mean, drying meats is uh, kind of a classic way of preservation. You know, it uh, wouldn't be completely uh, out of the ordinary for, for us to do that. Actually, we could probably... Hmm. Yeah, right here, we could just sort of... Ooh, actually, I'm looking at the map with... Uh, actually, let's pull up Journey Map here. Unfortunately, where we're at right here, we're pretty close to the edge, but it's not too close, actually. We could hollow out a small room here. Uh, to serve as our uh, curing room. Hmm. I'm not so sure I want to do that. In any case, I also want to remove these... <laughs> these embarrassing death points. Uh... Hmm. Because if I do it right here, that would be something, but... Just to have ourselves just a little bit of an easier means of doing it. Actually, you know what? No, let's do it outside. Eh? Mm, nah. Now, I know this will tunnel into that, uh, that unpleasantness uh, that is next to our little base here. Um, small curing room. Could just do doors there and pull it around. Yeah. I think we can. I think we can manage that. Let's go ahead and get some sleep here. Banish that night. Also, give me just a moment here. I gotta fix something. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da. Bam! Almost forgot to turn my stopwatch back on. So we don't run too far over our allotted time. So we've got uh, we've got some lava right here. It's a little bit of a pest, not a big pest, but it can be a, quite a substantial one. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna move this buddy down here, and uh, uh, yeah, let's just put him right there. I know there's a pretty good lava pit over there, but I I just I don't really like uh, wasting. Uh, what would be a good resource. I know a lot of Let's Players are just kind of uh, cavalier in uh, the way that they uh, just toss things away very quickly without really thinking about it. But not me. I uh, definitely prefer going about it at a little bit more of a uh, 
uh, I wouldn't even just necessarily call it an intelligent pace, but just not being wasteful. You know, uh, didn't grow up exactly in the uh, the most plentiful of households, so you know you, you make the best out of uh, what you got. So let's see here. Well, let's let's do the flooring and uh, hmm. I mean, we could do andesite. Yeah, I think we'll we'll do uh, a nice border of andesite brick, and uh, have have some uh, good old fashioned cobblestone flooring for uh, for what we're gonna do here. Head back out of the house. Should automate that door, but uh, in time. All right, and I do have that one lonely metal pick. Uh, let's, let's grab a spare one, just in case. And we do have plenty of wood here. So, let's just, let's make this, let's make us a stack of wood. Alright. Oh, wow. I did not know that was a recipe in there. In general, let's just go ahead and go with that. So we've got more than plenty to make a spare iron pickaxe. Which I know, I know, you guys have seen it a million times, but... You no. Know, it helps to, to do things. Have it set up right. Alright, so we're gonna chop through right there. Hmm, definitely gonna have to get a, get a light established in here. Yep, and it broke, of course. See, I knew it was about to break. Now, actually, I think I have enough materials to make that little tool I was wanting. Ooh, ooh, um... I don't want to deal with that guy, but, uh... Well, darn it, looks like we're gonna have to. Alrighty. Whoa, hey! Oh, that worked. I guess he was already wounded. And uh got rid of him too. Alright, neat. So we have we've gone ahead and, and secured that away there. Now we just want a uh, small extension on the on the base here, so not looking for too much. As you can see there, we've got that too thick right there, and it's uh, sort of making our uh, making our back border for, uh, for inside of our house. We don't want to ruin that aesthetic. So let's just go ahead and chop that out there. Oh, oh, hello. That might have been where that monster was. Hmm. How irritating. Unless I made that. I don't remember. It's been a little bit since my last recording. Oh, no, no, never mind. Definitely wasn't me. And lag. Gosh darn it. Really do not appreciate you doing this to me, lag. Don't be a butthole. Oh, hello. Well, we can get some daylight in here. That wouldn't be a bad thing, now would it? Alright, we're gonna chop out all of this. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, we got a skelly boy. Let's go ahead and handle him. Yeah, you can't get away there, buddy. Thank you for them bones. Alright, so floor plan as it goes. Hmm. Fortunately, my cigarette went out. Uh, floor plan for this is going to be... Let's see, that's one, two. Hmm. Two across each side. That's a total of six. Uh, let's make this a six by six. Should be pretty useful in that regard. So, that means we'll chop a hole there. Uh, 
Alright. Mm, we don't really need that cobblestone. It can kind of, like, fall down there. Into the, uh, the Great Abyss, as it were. Alrighty. And I know this is more of a rudimentary sort of deal. Alright, let's get us some, uh, polished andesite bricks. Now, I know I had more andesite than this. Hmm. That's one, two there, one, two there. And then we can do one, two. One, two. Hmm. Um, is that enough space, though? I think for now that should be... Oh. Yeah, you, you stay over there. No, no. No, go away. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Where did he go? Where did he go? Why? This was a terrible mistake. Oh, no. I've already had a hole blown in this place before. Oh, he's right around that corner, too. Alright, come on. Uh. Oh! Knocked him back, knocked him back. Come on. Come on, you green bastard. Ooh! One more hit, one more hit. Ooh! Oh, 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 miniature heart attack. Oh, 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 all right, let's not have a repeat, shall we? Um, yeah, I gotta knock out this wall and uh, do this pretty too sweet. All right. Oh, man. I was not counting on that. No, sir. No, no, no. Alright, so... Let's get rid of that there. One, two... Eh, one, two, three, four, five, and... One more andesite block should do the trick for what we need. So... I know I haven't even used my nice fancy new toy yet, but, uh... I will, don't worry. I'll get to it. Alrighty. Actually, might as well use it now. Uh, well, I did use it a second ago, but... Alright. Alright, and I think it was shift-right-click? Yes. Hey! Look at that. Just enough for what we needed, huh? Ah, Macalonia Woods. Final Fantasy X was full of some of the absolute best tracks that the, uh, the Final Fantasy series ever had. Uh, I really, really did enjoy it. Alright, so we're going to... Grab that there. And boop and boop. And those there. Those there. And that should be good for the moment. There we are. And then I'll just come back in here and uh, we'll block up these uh, these areas there. I want to do like a, a nice little like inset window. I think that would be really, really pretty for in here. Um, also, I could use with some spruce doors, and I think I have some left over. Ooh, I only have one. 
So let's go ahead and make some quick spruce doors. There we go. And we will close up our curing room. There we are. Look how nice that looks. That's handsome right there. And also makes sense too, because these would technically be the smokers. You know, close a flue and uh, let the smoke fill that room over there. Uh, I'm not sure if any of my uh, my viewers are familiar with the process used to smoke meats and goods. Hmm. They do not... Mm. I thought that they would... Uh... Hmm. Ah, well. I can just put some plat... Uh, what's it? Uh, little platform thingies right there. Uh, in any case, uh, I should have some smooth stone that I made. Yes, I do. We're going to use this to sort of uh, block in the sides here so that we have like a nice uniform look there. And then grab you and we're going to plock down that there. See, now we've got a, like a really nice sort of skylight thing going on there. As for this, we're going to remove you. And... Oh, whoops. There we are. Connect there, and we're going to do the same there. Just need one more block there. And then we're just going to come back out here onto the surface. Um, I should have some glass. I could have sworn I... Mm, I didn't make enough. I guess I only have those two pieces, so let's uh, let's head down to the beach, gather some more sand, because that is useful and necessary. It's been a while, not since the uh, first episode have we been back out here to the, uh, the little beach. Ah, uh, here we are. Here's some sand. We're going to be needing plenty of this later on, in any case. Also, let's go ahead and get rid of that unsightly uh, traveling water. I don't want none of that. Alrighty. Go for a little dip. A little swim. Alright, come back out here. See, we can go ahead and... Get that sand there. I know this isn't the most uh, fascinating of uh, fascinating of bits right here, but uh, you know it's necessary. I mean, you know, most people uh, tend to think that uh, whenever you watch a YouTuber who does uh, does Minecraft Let's Plays and the like, uh, you kind of wonder like, do they really get lucky and find all the materials that they do, or you know maybe they plant some stuff? Never are too sure. In my case, uh, I'll at least admit when I'm taking stuff. Oh, hey! Ooh, we can harvest. Let's go ahead and grab this real quick. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go ahead and also put down some more wheat. Wheat is a very useful resource in this game. A lot of mod packs kind of diminish its value as uh, not only a foodstuff, but for for other things. But um, yeah, wheat's still like a, a, a super valuable thing. Like in real life, wheat is uh, kind of like what makes the strength of a nation. You know, having enough food to put on the table at the uh, end of the day is a, a pretty important thing. All right, let's. Uh, Walk down some stone there, so it looks like a uh, natural facing. And uh, we'll even throw in uh, a little bit of cobble to give it a look like it's, uh, you know, you, you got some little rock fall and stuff like that. See, it looks, it actually does look pretty natural there. 
This doesn't look so natural. That's that's more me just like patching things after a creeper blew up. But that at least has a little bit more aesthetic. All right, so we've got that going now. Um, let's see. We're gonna need to be making a lot of those little hanging bits. So we can fit four per wall here. So that should be more than plenty for what we need. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to need a little bit of coal. And we're just going to we're going to go ahead and smelt up you know, a small amount of glass, just enough to to cover over that thing. Um, also, I would like to put away some of this more valuable stuff here. Okay, so we've got some wool uh, food, we can put the wheat in there. Um, I guess miscellaneous. Yeah, we can stack more creeper heads. Leather, bones, string, wool, you know. Just stuff we don't really have a place for elsewhere. Um, I'm gonna put this bee in here with the other bees. We've got three bees, queen bees, um, which is really, really good for Pam's. Uh, having three of those, we're going to be absolutely set coming up. Alright, so it looks like it's trying to get darker out there. So, alright, glass, thank you. Just enough. So we're going to place this glass across here like that. And voila! I am planning on doing possibly a chisel and bits flu that goes to the surface from here. I think that would be kind of neat to have. But yeah, so we have a, a nice little uh, room for that now. So in the meantime, I'm also going to place torches, catty corner in here, so it's nice and lit up. Don't have to worry about monsters uh, spawning in this room. Alright, and let's go over here to our crafting bench. And I realized that we originally started the show today uh, wanting to do... Um, wanting to do the... Uh, <laughs> uh, something very different to this. But, uh, hey, you know, sometimes you, you, you get on interesting sidetracks. So, we've got four there, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and there we go. Our smokehouse is ready to roll. Now, if we find a slime island, we can use these also for uh, some pretty useful stuff. And what's more is probably as we progress through the pack, we could even retrofit this smokehouse here be our kitchen. It kind of does have a nice little kitcheny feel, especially with the fact that we can peek outside, see a cute little apple tree and what have you. Oh man, that dad's messing with me. <laughs> I'm seeing creepers everywhere. Alrighty, let's uh, let's go ahead and grab out the rest of the cooked mutton from these other things. And I think those were the only cooked mutton that I had, so... Go ahead and turn this all into leather. Not much reason to keep it as food, at least right now. We're uh, we're pretty leather deficient. We'll go ahead and throw the rest of them in there, and uh, throw that solidified experience in there. Uh, hops can stay in there. A little bit of uh, organizing here. Um, let's see, there's one last thing I wanted to to get to today before I let y'all go and uh, y'all go to uh, whatever it is that you do during the day. Alright, we'll throw all that stone in there. Put our wood away. Let's see. We've got all that. Oh, um, well, I wanted to at least make an apiary. So, hmm. Ah. <sighs> Don't have too much, uh... Don't have too much time left. Can't really wait on it, so... Hmm... 
we did want to get the farm up and going. Uh, actually, tell you what, we'll just we'll just get some uh, some sheepies up and uh, up and running. We'll get their their pen going. So we're gonna grab a little bit more wood, and I believe it's still daytime out. Where's the sun? Uh, looks like it's trying to set on us, just like our time right now with you. But uh, we can manage. We can manage it. So let's go ahead and make us some more sticks. I think this should be enough. Do four. Oh, uh, wait. You know, it, it is a little embarrassing when you forget how to actually make fences. Alright, so... If memory serves, it is... Or like that, and two like that, and okay, excellent. So let's go ahead and make uh, that should be plenty. And then also we need to reverse that recipe there to get ourselves a fence so we can get in and out. And just to be smart about it, we get a wooden door. Or a wooden thing. Oh, ooh, never mind. Alright. Let's snooze the night away. Oh, are you serious? Ah, uh, what monsters are nearby? I assure you, there are no non no there are no monsters nearby. Come on, Notch. Do me do me a solid. Come on. Now see, there's nothing here. If they're outside, they're outside. They're not in my front porch. Uh, they, they may be on the front porch, but they're not in the front door. There we go. Okay, they've wandered off. Okay, so they're gone. Let's go ahead and... Uh, last thing we're going to grab is our wheat. Because we're going to need to lure our sheepy friends into their new accommodations. Uh, oh, hey. And we even got a little bit more extra wheat there. Excellent. Alright. A uh, shame we don't have more... Huh. Did I do this one extra? I could have sworn I had this at the right... Hmm. Huh. Oh, goes to show what I know. Oh well, at least everything's all uh, hydrated. Anyways, hello, sheeps. Oh, hey, Babby grew up. All right, so I suppose a good pen would be about about here. Put it just like uh, where you guys can get some. Oh, hello, zombie. Ooh, got him. I do hear a zombie villager. And he's wandering around. I don't know from where, but he's wandering around. Chop you out. Place you here. Alright, and this should be the last thing. We're going a little bit long today, folks. Hope you do not mind. Alright, come on, sheepy. Come on. There we go. That's a good sheepy. And... Nope, nope, nope. Bad sheep. Bad sheep. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, damn lag. Oh, you will be the death of me. Okay, sheeps. 
We have plenty of sheeps now. And... Wheat. Wheat for everybody. Our creepy, incestuous sheep. So, we have that supply there, and that is, uh... Yeah. Um... All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that will conclude our broadcast day for today. If you like this content and uh, you'd like to see more of it, uh, I will, well, I'll keep producing it. Uh, do uh, tune in uh, tomorrow, well, I can't say tomorrow because uh, when this goes up, it probably won't be, to it won't be today. <laughs> but uh, tune in Saturdays for our D&D show that we host every week on the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Caligator. Uh, also tune in for uh, left, uh, what's it, our replays that we re-upload here to the YouTube channel. Um, I do hope that you all enjoyed it, and uh, I'll definitely be doing more of these. Uh, just keep an eye out. <laughs> uh, next time we should be getting to doing a little bit more uh, automative stuff, and uh, in between episodes, I'll probably put together uh, probably a little bit of a better farm, uh, at least some core elements, and uh, we'll finally, finally get that leather that we need to make our apiaries. But uh, that being said, I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day, and I hope to see you all very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye!